morning and welcome to another day of Baha'i Kubo adventures. Today what I'm gonna do is set up a tent because in our Baha'i Kubo, in our Nipa hut, we have a little bit of a mold problem because the bamboo is not treated. What we're gonna do is that uh, set up a tent, move all of our stuff in there and treat that mold problem. So we're gonna be removing that, varnishing it, Hopefully within a couple of days we can move in back. I'm just thankful that I brought a tent, a big tent with me from California that we that we used to go camping with in uh, National Sequoia Park. Let's see, here I've got a tent here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, here we have ourselves a house in the back <coughs> big enough to fit 10 people. So, that's the project today. I think I'm gonna set it up here. We can temporarily reside here so hopefully we don't have to deal with that mold problem because who knows what kind of health benefits the mold brings so I'm gonna go get to that Amadeo Tagaitai, as you can see around me. I'm just in the middle of some random pineapple field, just kind of walking around trying to kill time. Since it's been raining, we haven't been able to really charge our solar battery, and solar ba battery is what we rely on to charge our phones, iPad, uh, laptops for kids for doing their lessons, and also to run our Wi Fi modem. Everything is dead right now because we couldn't charge anything, so we can't do any lessons. And so we're just like kind of a downtime mode right now. Yeah, we don't have no power. And I'm kind of just like behind uh, our property. And then there's uh, this huge pineapple field here. This is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. We also have a host of other problems. Baha Kubo we're staying in, because of all the rain, there is some kind of, some mold appearing on the bamboo because when it was built, bamboo wasn't uh, treated with any sort of uh, varnish or chemicals. It's gonna treat it for termites and varnish it. So, yeah, we set up a tent right there. And the tent uh, is much bigger, brighter. So far, so good. Highlight, uh, my neighbor Fred let me borrow his uh, uh, scooter, the motorcycle. That way, if we need anything, I can just ride it to get what we need. Small things like bread or some uh, potato chips for kids. You know, small things like that. It's Friday and we're grounded, literally. Grounded because we have no power because it's raining, constantly raining. That means by the time I upload this video, it will probably be a week from now because I have like a whole bunch of other videos I want to upload and I'm not able to because we have no power. So that's the wonderful life of farming in Philippines or living in Philippines. There you go. Good morning. The sun is finally out. 
uh, we can finally charge our solar panels. The kids can finally start catching up on their lessons. It's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna go and get some things at the bakery. Ten pieces, yeah, yeah, ten pieces. I'm happy you guys have it because maybe I was thinking I came late and you don't have it anymore. <laughs> yeah, we all like Spanish bread, that's our favorite. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Beautiful day because the sun is out. It's gonna be a great day because we can charge our solar battery. We are, there's no power, so we rely on solar electricity. Puto is 100 peso each. Aww, that was free. <laughs> oh, you want to sit in the back? I want to
Where's my coffee? Also, before we went to the Philippines, right here. before we went here in... Oh, yeah, can you give Daddy a cup? Please? They were How built... How much is it? Four or five? Five pesos each. Uh, 50 pesos for everything. So I gave him 60 and he gave me 10 pesos back. <laughs> what happened to the 100 I'm keeping it for safekeeping. You know, I have a problem with the GoPro. The the lens kept getting fogged inside. There's fog inside the lens. I mean, it's not that bad. Like, it, I can still see things. All right, let's eat puto. Puto, Spanish bread. Spanish bread. Spanish bread. I don't know why I keep saying puto. Daddy, can you hand this to Mama? Spanish bread. Thank you. Thank you. Afram, you look very comfortable there. You're gonna be in this vlog this time. He loves this chair. That's why I don't like to get out of the chair. Because if you leave, somebody takes over. Today you do the termite treatment inside? Inside the, the cobalt. Do you do the termite treatment or I do termite treatment? We do the termite I can pay that. I think it's just easier to do it by ourselves. So today we have to work inside. I think it's dry enough. I think today we may have to let it dry and maybe do additional scrubbing. But tomorrow or day after. Give me a hug, bro. That's my bro, Avi. We do our school lessons together. Avram gets keeps getting A's all the time. Not all the time. Do you? Time to ride. A lizard and he's in the bottle here playing dead see he acts like he's dead but he's holding on to the wall it's so funny uh, he's alive we poked some holes in the bottle so he's fine Maybe we just caught him like a few minutes ago but we'll release him soon don't worry Avi is taking the science test right now it's she's doing science and it started to rain again we're not happy it's been raining a lot so uh, we're gonna spend this time doing uh, school work. A lot of school. And hopefully we can watch Mandalorian later. Mandalorian. Baby Greg. Grogu. Baby Grogu. Not Yoda. Yoda died hundreds of years before. I think. I think Baby Greg. I call him Greg. It's Grogu. I think he's secret Yoda's son. I think so, probably. Yeah. Maybe Yoda married someone, married another Yoda. Me and Avram are doing lessons. It's about um, 3.45 p.m. local time. If you guys can hear the goats, yeah, it's, they're goats. There's like the goat going crazy at the neighbor's yard. It finally stopped raining. So, uh, we are just sitting here doing the lessons we have this area here so the water comes through the fence down here and it like eroded all this area make a canal on our side of the fence so the water from outside will collect into it and we're gonna put a pipe on the ground that will just take the water down to the other side of the property everything in Philippines is uh, doubt a little bit every day something every day something is doubt that's what makes your life fun and every day there's something to do and the problems are real. It's not, uh, you know, a paper you sign, you push it off uh, to the side of the desk. It's uh, real problems you deal with. It's something we deal with every day. It's a real life. Mm -hmm. 